आई एम डिलाइटेड टू रिटर्न टू अफगानिस्तान ऑनर्ड टू बी एमंग द पीपल हु हैव सेट द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ करेज फॉर अवर एज प्रिविलेज टू सी अगेन द हाई टाइड ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप इन दिस वास्ट ओशन ऑफ लव फॉर इंडिया this is yet another giant step in afghanistan's march to progress and it is historic moment of emotion and pride in the relations between afghanistan and india thank you mr president for your invitation and for naming this dam as afghan india friendship dam we are truly humbled by the generosity of the afghan spirit rivers have been barriers of great civilizations of the world in the flow of rivers runs the course of human progress in the holy quran river is central to the image of paradise in the ancient scriptures of india rivers define our nation and were celebrated as the giver of life and it is a wise afghan proverb that says kabul be jhar basha be barf ne may kabul be without gold rather than snow for the snow feeds the rivers that sustain life and agriculture so today we are not just launching a project that will irrigate land and light up homes we are reviving a region restoring hope renewing life and redefining afghan's future the dam is a generator not just of electricity but also of optimism and belief in the future of afghanistan the project would not just irrigate the fields of 640 villages in chiste obe pastun jharzan karok gojara injil jindjan kosan and goryan it would also bring light to over 250000 homes in this area last december in kabul i was moved by the honor of inaugurating the afghan parliament building it was a tribute to the epic struggle of the afghan people to shape their future by vote and debate not gun and violence <laughs> on this summer day in herat we come together to honor 
and celebrate Afghan determination to build a future of prosperity. Afghans and Indians dreamed of this project in the 1970s. The last decade speak to us about the revivals of a long drawn war. It was a war not of Afghan making, but it was one that stole the future of the entire generation of Afghanistan. And when a new dawn broke over Afghanistan in 2001, we resumed the project again. With resolve and patience, courage and belief, we have together overcome distance and hurdles, threats and violence. Today, the brave Afghan people are sending a message that the forces of destruction and death, denial and domination shall not prevail. They will not come in the way of the dreams and aspirations of the Afghan people. The fields that produce the finest fruits and saffron shall once again come alive with the clear waters of the river. The homes that lived through dark nights of dread will now be lit by the power of hope. Men and women shall once again work the farms and ply the trade with the joy of hard work in peace and security. The soldiers that were once weighed down in the shadow of guns would now bear plows to turn the land green. Children shall again believe in the possibility of a future of education and opportunity. And another young girl poet will not have to live a life of pain, denial and longing or see a life of promise cut short. Herat, as time and again, since sublime glory and tragic ruin, and the city that once Jalaluddin Rumi held at the finest will rise again. The city that was gateway to the west, south, and central Asia will once again be the hub that will unite the regions in a peaceful pursuit of prosperity. So, to the people and government of Herat and the government of Afghanistan, I express our deepest appreciation for your support, patience and understanding and above all, your belief in us. This dam has not been built by bricks and mortal, but by the faith of our friendship and the valor of Afghans and Indians. And at this moment of pride, we also stand in grief and gratitude for life's sacrifice so that Afghan people will have a future 
they so richly deserve and so deeply desire. The blood, sweat and tears of our people are mixed into this earth and have formed between us an eternal bond returned into the soil of this land. <laughs> Bonds that remind us of ancient links between this region and India. For many, the Harirud River is one strand of our connected histories since the ancient Vedic times. Today, the world will see the Harirud River as an abiding emblem of our commitment to a shared future of progress and the friendship. Friendship them unite us in solidarity as Chisti Sarif joined us in spirit centuries ago. For it is from here that the Chisti Silsila, our Chisti tradition of Subhizam, came to India. Its glorious tradition and teachings resonate through the Dargahs of Ajmer, Delhi, and Fatehpur Sikri. It draws people from all faiths with its message of love, peace, and compassion, of harmony among people of all beliefs, of respect for all of God's creation, and service to humanity. Indians and Afghans know that these values, not extremism and violence, define Afghanistan, a nation brimming with poetry of love and spiritual tradition of peace and harmony. And these are the values that give the great Afghan people the patience and persistence to seek peace with their own who have chosen the path of violence and also with those who support them. Afghans have pursued this path despite the strength of the belief that they can defend their freedom like no other people on this earth. And it is on the foundation of these values that Afghans and Indians seek each other, not because they harbor designs against another. Khwaja Mohidin Chisti, the first of the Chisti saints in India said that human beings must have the affection of the sun the generosity of the river and the hospitality of the earth. He not only had the magnificent landscape of his an ancestral land in mind, he could also be describing the Afghan people. So when I came to Kabul in December, in the warmth of your welcome, I saw the kindness of your heart. In your clear eyes, I saw the deep well of affection for India. In your smiles, I saw the joy of this relationship. In the firmness of your embrace, I felt the trust in our friendship. And in those memorable hours, in your witness, once again, the grace of your people, the beauty of this land, and the friendship of a nation. Today, I return with the gratitude and admiration of 1.25 billion people and a renewed pledge of our partnership. Together, our partnership has built schools, health centers, and irrigation facilities for rural communities. It has empowered women with skills and the youth with the education to shoulder the responsibility for Afghanistan's future. 
We have joined hands to build roads that bridge the distance of your country from Jaranj to Dalaram and transmission lines that bring power to your homes. Now, India's investment in the port at Chabar in Iran will give Afghanistan a new route to the world and a new path to prosperity. <laughs> and to implement that vision, just last month, President Ghani joined President Rouhani of Iran and me in witnessing the signing of Chabahar Trade and Transit Agreement between Afghanistan, Iran, and India. The fruits of our friendship are not confined to Kabul, Kandahar, Majar, and Harat. They will never be. Our cooperation will extend to every part of Afghanistan. Our partnership will benefit every section of Afghan society because across its difficult geography and across its diversity and beyond the identities as Pashtuns, Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hajaras, Afghanistan must live and prosper as one Afghanistan. For divisions, Afghan people will only help those who seek to dominate the nation from outside. As we work together, we draw strength and confidence from your deep commitment to protect your partnership from the designs of others. When our people are under attack, the brave Afghan guards at their own. They put themselves in the line of fire so that their Indian friends are safe. This is the nobility of your heart and the strength of your friendship. I've seen this from the moment I assume office as a Prime Minister. For on that day, when terrorists launched a massive attack on our consulate in this city of Herat, the heroic efforts of Afghan soldiers and our personnel saved many lives and prevented a big tragedy. <laughs> Mr. President, Friends, Afghanistan's success is a deeply held hope and desire of every Indian. It comes from the love and admiration for Afghans in our hearts. We want to see your democracy strike deep roots, your people unite and your economy prosper. We want to see your art, culture, and poetry thrive. And we want to see your cricketers join the ranks of test players and also seek glory in IPL. <laughs> but it also comes from the recognition that when Afghanistan succeeds, the world will be safer and more beautiful. When the values that define Afghans prevail, terrorism and extremism will be in retreat. Because we know that extremism and terrorism cannot stop at your border or end at the boundaries of our region. So, in the spreading 
unrest of our times the world cannot forget the brave struggle that the afghan people are waging for themselves and our world india will not forget or turn away as i said then and i will say it again your friendship is our honor your dreams are our duty india's capacity may be limited but our commitment is without limits our resources may be modest but our will is boundless for others their commitments may have a sunset clause but our relationship is timeless we face barriers of geography and politics but we define our path from the clarity of our purpose we see resistance and suspicion of others but our resolve is strong and your faith and trust guides us forward where some doubt your future we are certain that no force or power can deny the afghan people the destiny they have chosen however long and hard the journey may be so on international platforms and in regional forums will speak in one voice for the afghan right of a peaceful prosperous united inclusive and democratic nation and in the fields villages and cities of afghanistan we will work together for that future and whatever happens in a bright or a dark moment we will always experience as herar's great sufi poet Hakim Jami would say the freshness and happiness of the gentle breeze of frenzy thank you for this honor this affection and this frenzy aur ant mein isi saptah kuch hi dino mein रमजान का महीना शुरू हो जा रहा है रमजान का महीना तपस्या और इबादत का महीना होता है जिसके आखिर में ईद का खुलूस छा जाता है हिंदुस्तान और अफगानिस्तान के बीच ये जो भाईचारे का रिश्ता है ये अफगानिस्तान इंडिया फ्रेंडशिप डैम उस मोहब्बत और भाईचारे का एक जीती जागती मिसाल के रूप में हम इस रमजान महीने में और पवित्रता से भर देंगे कुरान में नदियों का जो महात्मा है पैराडाइज के मूल में बताया गया है उसी समय हैरात की धरती से मैं विश्व भर के मुसलमान भाइयों बहनों को आने वाले रमजान के पवित्र पर्व के लिए अनेक अनेक शुभकामनाएं देता हूं फिर से एक बार आप सबका बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद महाकवि कालिदास ने कलिंग के राजा को लॉर्ड ऑफ द सी महोदीपति कहा था कालिदास ने यहां का वर्णन ऐसा कहा और कलिंग का प्राचीन बंदरगाह 
ये हमारा बालेश्वर शहर हुआ करता 